Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about three big pet peeves of mine concerning the M1 Grand. Uh, these are things that are really just cliche, I, I hear them all the time and uh, I think they should really just stop or slow down considerably. Um, first off is everybody talking about the M1 Grand and saying the greatest battle implement ever devised. General Patton described the M1 as the finest battle implement ever created. That quote is really taken out of context. Um, that quote was in a letter written uh, from George Patton to another general and he says a whole lot more in it. Quote, my dear General Campbell, in my opinion, the M1 rifle is the greatest battle implement ever devised. However, my admiration for ordnance products does not stop with the M1 rifle. Our machine guns, mortars, artillery, and tanks are without equal on the battlefields of the world. In the hands of the unconquerable veterans now comprising our armies, the utter destruction of the armed forces of our enemies is certain. Truly yours, George's Patton Jr. So you can see in the, in the letter, he was really just praising everything American, really. He was saying that American tanks, American stuff is just better than everybody else's, which is a very patriotic thing to say, and it may or may not be true. And in this case, I really don't think it's true. Uh, at the time when he said this, a lot of other rifles existed like the German MP44 and you could say that those were really revolutionary guns that inspired a whole lineage of, of guns and the M1 Grand really just wasn't unfortunately. It's, it was a great rifle, it served the American Armed Forces as well. I love it. Uh, I own one and I'm gonna own one for probably the rest of my life but calling it the greatest battle implement ever devised is just it's just not. It just, it just wasn't. So it's just, I'm tired of people saying it. It just really should stop. Number two, ping got people killed. Uh, when people refer to ping, that's the clip ejecting out of the M1 Grand. The, the ping it got people killed is what people say. Or they'll talk about, oh, you know, soldiers used to carry one around in their pocket and they'd, you know, they'd throw it down so the enemy thought that they were out of ammo and then they'd shoot them. And it's, it's just, okay. It really started because of this clip. The only weakness was a single design quirk that let an important secret out of the bag. When you had fired all eight rounds, the clip was automatically ejected with a loud twang. Sometimes people felt that the enemy could hear that. So it's sort of like saying, I'm out of ammunition. Okay, so if you really think about it, if you have a group of soldiers just I mean, even a small group, say you have two soldiers with M1 Grands, okay? They're both firing. One of them runs out, ping, okay? And let's just assume the enemy knows the, you know, the, the American weapon system. They know the Grand and they know the ping. And he, they can hear it over the sound of combat. And oh, so you're assuming that they're going to attack or stick their head up to shoot whenever they hear the ping from one guy? Like, who would expose themselves to fire from just one other guy who, you know, who didn't run out of bullets? Or what if there was four or five or a you know, hundred of them? Like who would be able to hear it? Who would stick their head up because they heard one guy out of a whole group run out of ammo? It's just, it doesn't make any sense if you really think about it. It's just something everybody likes to say because it was on the military channel. It's just not true. Uh, the only way that I could see that this was somehow maybe applicable is if it was one-on-one -on -one sort of combat in a really really quiet room and the other person knew what to listen for with the M1 Grand Ping. Okay, but that that really is a stretch. I don't think that if in a combat situation the ping really didn't do anything. And number three, using the word venerable to describe the M1 Grand. Or really using the word venerable to describe any firearm. I hear it all the time when people are talking about 1911s. You know, the venerable 1911, like, okay, it's it's an old gun, and I guess that's the only thing you can say about it is venerable. I mean, you could just say respected, because that's really what venerable means. Oh, the respected 1911, or 
I don't know, maybe the, the relevant 1911. There's, there's a million other words you can use for it. I don't know why people keep saying venerable, the venerable M1 Grand. It's just, please stop saying it. There's more words in the English language. I don't know why everybody keeps saying this about the M1 Grand. So thanks for listening to me ranting on about this. I'm trying to spread awareness of this so that maybe the more people know about it, the more people will call other people out when they hear it. And really, I'm hoping that we can all collectively stop saying these things about the M1 Grand. There's really a lot of other things we could be talking about when we talk about the Grand. And it's just these things keep being said. And so I'm hoping that this really will settle it. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next time.